We are getting ready for kickoff. It has been so much fun so far. If you can't be here in Ann Arbor or if it's in Columbus, you can't be at the game, maybe the next best place yes. to be is Dale's Bar and Grill in Maumee. There's a nice picture of me hanging up in there. Humble brag. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Emma, Henderson, Emma Henderson is in Dale at Dale's in Maumee, and she's having a lot of fun. Hi, Emma. I am. I've actually kind of been adopted by this family here. Now, this is Tim. I interviewed him last year, but he's really known as the Woody Hayes of Dales. And uh, last year, I had a concerned anchor text me and tell me, you know, that's not the real Woody Hayes, right? We know, but you're pretty much the real Woody Hayes here, right? Well, for one day a year, yeah. It's a special day and special guy, so try to uphold his image. Exactly. And I mean, he looks exactly like him. We're going to give you a pan shot to show you just how many of his family members are turning out here. This is a big tradition for them. Obviously, big Ohio State fans. So they are here. We're hanging out. We're having a great time. Nice and warm. I see you guys are a little chilly out there. And you know what else? We have an aspiring future cheerleader here. Now, how old are you? Four. She's four and check out her outfit she's got her cheerleading gear all on and you you do want to be a cheerleader when you get older right for ohio state yeah she already got the outfit and so now we're going to take a look at the four northwest ohio people who actually have lived that dream and are now ohio state cheerleaders from mommy holland perrysburg and finley let's meet the ohio state cheerleaders hailing from northwest ohio First, we have Ashley Thomason. She's from Perrysburg, started cheerleading in the eighth grade, and is currently majoring in chemistry. She says it's taken some explaining to her Columbus friends about why the rivalry is so fierce. It's strange, especially for my friends that are from Columbus, to hear that we had Ohio State Michigan days at school. They're like, how in the world do you even have Michigan fans? But I mean, we are 20 minutes away from the border in Toledo. Next is Emily Gramza. From Mommy, she's a current health sciences major hoping to continue her academic career at Ohio State's dentistry school. She's always wanted to cheer for this school. It's been a huge dream of mine. My family was so excited when I made the team. Even my family that were those that were Michigan fans were really excited for me and they've actually been coming to games. Katie Kreinbrink is proud to represent Finley. She was a gymnast before cheering. She's an exercise science major, excited to see the atmosphere inside the big house. A lot of people talk about what it's like just with all of the history and the tradition going back with the rivalry. So I'm excited to just experience that and see what it's all about. Garrett Rainey is from Holland. He didn't start cheering until college, starting at UT, but transferring to Ohio State, where this is his first football season. Just walking out to like 105, 109,000 in the stadium, and it's just electric and it's super loud. It's the loudest atmosphere I've ever been in for a sporting event, and it's uh, it's really fun. And those are your Northwest Ohio cheerleaders. Not too bad to have four coming just from our area alone. Now that is just one role that some Northwest Ohio students have with this game. When you talk to me later, I'm going to give you, we have one who is doing one of the biggest traditions that you can possibly have at Ohio State. 